Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over the Leaf Proxies dashboard and showing you how to generate and test your Leaf Proxies. First I'll cover the Residential Proxy dashboard as seen on the screen here, then I'll also go over accessing your data center proxies and any purchased accounts that you have. I'll also go over the Leaf Proxies tester to make sure your proxies are valid and working and have good connection to the sites. Then I'll finish the video off by showing you how to set up for a release using your Leaf Proxies and by giving you some resources that might help you out. So with all that being said, let's start right here on the Residential Proxy Dashboard. So to get to the Leaf Proxies Dashboard, you can either type in leafproxies.io in your browser, or you can go from leafproxies.com and hit the Dashboard button in the top left, and that'll take you to the login screen of the Dashboard. So your Dashboard credentials should be emailed to you when you first purchase a plan, but if you ever forget your password, you can go to leafproxies.io slash forgot dash password. It's the link on screen or in the browser here, and that should help you with resetting your password. Also, two-factor authentication with your email is going to be required, so make sure you're prepared for that, and you're going to get sent a code in your email that you can just put into the Leaf Proxies dashboard to log in. Now, that's also in addition to the two-factor authentication that you can use on your mobile device, which I'll go over later on in the video. For now, let's head to the Residential Proxy dashboard, which you can get to by going in the top right here and clicking Residential Proxies, and that'll take you to a screen that looks like this. So first up by this menu, you could either toggle light mode or dark mode, whichever one you prefer. But more importantly, let's talk about your residential data plan. Over here on the left, you can see some information about your data plan, such as the expiry date and also how much data you've actually used. So residential proxies work in terms of data. So the more that you run them, the more data you use until you hit your data limit. And your data limit here is going to be how much you've purchased. So if you purchase a two gigabyte plan, you should see two gigabytes here. So your plan will stop working once you hit your data limit or the maximum amount of data you can use on your plan or once this timer runs out in the top right here. So up here is an expiration date. So either you run out of data first or you run out of time first, either one and your plan will stop working. Now, if you ever need more data, then you could always press the top up button here and you can select the plan that you wanna add more data to. Now note these prices are already discounted so you don't actually have to enter a code to get the best discounted price. And once you top up, then it'll add more data and time to your plan. Also regarding topping up, I wanna mention that if you want your data to carry over after the top up, you must top up before your data expires. So if your data expires and then you top up, your old data is not gonna be able to carry over. So if you wanna carry over that data, make sure you top up before your plan expires. So now let's talk about actually how to generate these proxies. So first we're gonna go over here and discuss site gateway versus country gateway. So right now we have it on country gateway, so we'll see a bunch of different countries listed here. Now of course there's also site gateway, which if you wanna choose the site instead. So you could either choose the site or the country, or you could always mix them both together. For now I'm gonna leave it on country and select the US. Now under the gateway, you're gonna see at least one, if not two different pools. Usually it's gonna be prime and fast. So these are simplified and pre-mixed options for you that you can use to run your leaf proxies. So you don't have to worry about generating from a bunch of different gateways. It's all very simplified and in this dashboard for you. So all you have to do is select the country or the site gateway and select the pool, whether it's prime or fast. For prime proxies, you can generate up to 500 of them. And for fast, you can generate up to 100 of them. And that goes for each country or each site. So if you wanna generate, let's say 500 prime from Foot Locker, you can do that. And you can also generate 500 prime from country. So a lot of the selection of different gateways and pools and mixing is actually done before you so you don't have to really worry about much all you have to worry about is selecting the country or the site and then generating your prime or fast or both now note for the country gateways some countries do not have fast proxies as we can see here some countries only have prime proxies so you can still generate your 500 prime proxies there now note for sites, you have different options such as foot sites, Shopify, sneakers, Yeezy Supply, or other. With other, you can do things like retail botting and things like that. Later on in the video, I'll go over the Leaf Proxies blog, which will give you a bit of insight and help into which proxies to generate for certain sites. Also keep in mind that these proxies could change over time, so you definitely wanna update them from time to time, and you don't wanna just stick with the same proxies for drop after drop. You definitely wanna come back in here and regenerate your proxies. Since these are already mixed for you, they could change and the mixes could change over time. Now I do also want to mention if you're used to the old Leaf Proxies dashboard, you do not have to worry about IP authentication anymore, so you don't have to worry about that at all. These proxies should work fine for you. Alright, so now that we know how to generate some residential proxies, let's actually generate some and use the Leaf Proxies tester to test them out. So for this example, I'm just going to generate some prime proxies for the US. I'll generate, let's say, 500 and press generate here. You'll see they'll come up in the bottom here. Now I wouldn't recommend trying to highlight and copy them. It's just easier to press this copy button in the top right and that'll copy it to your clipboard. 
and then you can paste them into the Leaf Proxies Tester or whichever bot you're using. To access the Leaf Proxies Proxy Tester, you can go to the Proxy Tester tab in the top, and that'll bring you right to this page where you can download it either for Windows or for Mac. It's completely free and it's a good way to test and validate your proxy. So when you launch the Leaf Proxies Tester, you'll see a dashboard here with some different links, and you could also toggle the light or dark mode in the top right. You can also click these four squares here, which will bring up some different links to the Discord, drop info, the dashboard, and also the store. But for now, we're gonna go to the Tester tab here. So the tester tab here is where you could actually test and validate your proxies. So there's actually a few different things we can do in here. We can bring our proxies in, we could save them to a list, we can test them, and then we could also prune them. So we prune out the slow ones and only keep the fast ones. And we could test them on a bunch of different sites. So first, since we have the proxies copied to our clipboard, let's actually go to import in the bottom left here and paste in our proxies into this box. Then we're going to press import and we see all of our proxies right here. So of course you can go through and test them individually if you want, or we can run a test on all of them. You could also select the target site in the top here, whether it's a certain site or you could just type in a custom site if you want to. So I've selected Easy Supply and I've actually gone through and tested a few of them here and they all seem to be working quite well. Now we have a few different options within the tester here with what we want to do. So let's say some of our proxies were slow and we only wanted to keep the fast ones. For this example, let's say any over 600 milliseconds we want to throw out. Although in a real scenario, you'd probably want to prune any higher than 3000 because under 1000 is very quick for residentials. So real life scenario, probably 3000 for first come first serve drops and 5000 for splash page drops. But for this example, I'll just show you how the pruning works by typing in 600 here and clicking anywhere and any proxies that are over 600 or not tested will get deleted or pruned. So of course that only left us with three because I only tested a few there. So now you see how the pruning works and how you can get the best proxies out of your list. So if I press export in the bottom left here it'll allow me to save them to a file and it'll also copy them to my clipboard. Now I could also save them in the leaf proxies tester by going to the group tab and giving it a name. So I'll type in test and press save and now we have the test group over here. So if I wanted to, I could copy that or I could import them into the tester or I could delete it. So of course, if I press copy, it's going to copy those proxies to my clipboard. Now I will mention one thing is that pruning actually doesn't delete them from the list. It just deletes them from this view and from your group. So if I actually delete the number 600 here and click anywhere, all of our proxies are going to be back. So it won't actually delete them from the list. It'll just show the view that we can use to copy from. In the bottom left here under the proxy setting we can test all of them, we could import and export which is pretty self explanatory, and then we could also clear all of them if we wanted to. Now we have one setting here which is just how many proxies we want to test at once when we're testing all of them. So if we set this number to 10 which is the default, that means that it's going to test 10 proxies at a time. And with that that's pretty much the leaf proxies tester, that's how you can test and validate your proxies, how you can copy them to your clipboard, and also how you can export them. So now let's head back to the Leaf Proxies dashboard and I'll show you how to get your data center proxies as well as any purchased accounts. So we're back on the dashboard here and let's actually go through a few of the tabs in the top right here. So in terms of our proxies, we have our residential proxies dashboard, which is what we're looking at now. Then we have our usage report. Your usage report will just give you a little bit of information about how much data you've used over time. All right, so next we have the data center proxies tab where you can see your purchased accounts and data center proxies. First, to show any accounts you've purchased, all you have to do is press show and the account should pop up and then you could copy it. You can either copy it directly or just export it and that'll copy it to your clipboard where you can just paste it elsewhere. Now, in terms of your data center proxies, you have the same type of process where you can just press show and copy your proxies by pressing export, but you also have an auto renewal option here. Basically with auto renew, you can keep the same set of proxies and just automatically pay for it month after month and you don't have to remember to pay for it or anything like that. So it's automatic and does it all for you. Now you could either have this turned on or off. Right now I have it turned off, but if I wanted to turn it on, I just press where it says auto renew and it would turn it on. Now if I didn't have a valid payment method on my account, it would prompt me to add one and then I would add it and turn on auto renew. Now to turn off auto renew, what you could do is press this button auto renew and it'll come up as auto renew, give some information about your plan and then you could press cancel auto renew here. And that'll turn it off so it won't charge your card any longer. Just keep in mind here that auto renew is toggled off to begin with and you'll have to toggle it on if you want it to be on. So make sure you do that if you want to keep the same set of IPs month after month. So the settings tab, you have a few different options here. First, you can change your password if you need to. Next, you could update your payment method, which is for those auto renewals, as well as for topping up and things like that. You always wanna make sure that you have an up-to-date payment method from the settings tab. Next, you could link your Discord account to the Leaf Discord, which is used for support and drop information. And lastly, I definitely recommend enabling your two-factor authentication as it's going to keep things secure. 
You definitely don't want anybody getting into your Leaf Proxies account, so definitely enable two-factor auth. You can do that by using a mobile device and using an app such as Google Authenticator. So for logging in, there's a few different types of two-factor authentication. There's the email two-factor authentication, which you might get hit with the first time that you actually log into your Leaf Proxies account as it's required. And what that'll do is it'll send a code to your email that you just enter into the box. It'll explicitly say here, email two-factor authentication. Now the other kind as you see here is the mobile app one, which I enabled in the settings tab. So when you enable it in the settings tab, every time you go to log in, you're gonna have to enter the two-factor code from a different app such as Google Authenticator or anything on your mobile device. You definitely wanna protect your Leaf Proxies account as you don't want anybody getting into it. All right, with that being said, I'm going to give you a few more resources as to where you can get support and also different job information. And I'll go over a quick example setup for a job. All right, so first I'll mention on the leafproxies.com site, you can go over to drop info on the right side here, and that'll bring you to the Leaf Proxies blog. Now the blog will be updated for different drops and it'll give you a lot of different information as to how to set up for that specific release. So if we click the one for the blue tints that dropped a few days ago, we can see a bunch of different sites and how to set up for those different sites. So for example, one of the main suggestions here is to use 80% prime and 20% fast when generating your proxies. Now, of course, this could always change over time. So I would definitely keep up to date with the Leaf Proxies blog as you want the most up-to-date information. Then of course, there's information about each different site, such as Shopify, Footsites, etc. So I definitely recommend checking out the Leaf Proxies blog for all drop info. So now I'll give you a quick rundown on how I generate and test my proxies for the Shopify drop. So we see here it says country and gateway options to use site gateway Shopify and country gateway all and country gateway US. So I'm gonna go and generate from all those different pools. So back in the Leaf Proxies dashboard, here's how I generate some proxies. Since it said we can use the site and use Shopify, I'll go to site and Shopify and select, let's do the prime ones. And I'll just select, you know, 90 or 100. It doesn't really matter however many you want. I would then bring these into the Leaf Proxies tester, run a couple tests, maybe a test all, and then I could save them and export them if I want to. And then I could do the same for Prime. I could go to country and do the same for US, etc. So it'll definitely take some time to test different gateways and setups and everything like that. But I definitely recommend testing your setups in the Leaf Proxies tester before you bring them into your bot. It's always good to keep an eye on which exact gateways and pools are working well for you so that you can scale that up for the next job. And also information from the Leaf Proxies blog should help with that. So to close out the video, I'll mention a few different things that could help you out when you're generating and testing and running for the different jobs with your Leaf Proxies. First is the FAQ, which if you scroll down on the page, you can see the FAQ, which should answer some specific questions that you might have. If you're still having issues after reading the FAQ, then you could join the Leaf Proxies Discord, which has 24 seven support. You can actually just go into the Discord and open a ticket and support should be able to help you out. The way that you can actually get into the Discord is by clicking this button in the bottom right here and you can actually connect to the Discord. There will also be a link in this video description to the Discord that you can join. I also wanna mention that it'll definitely take some time and variety in your setup to get the perfect setup. You might not get it right away with the pools and the gateways that you're using, so definitely do some experimentation and testing until you kinda of get the right setup. The process has been quite simplified now, so there shouldn't be too much testing of gateways and pools and whatnot, but you still wanna take note of what's working best for you and try to scale it up for the future drops. Also keep in mind that the region that you're choosing should be close to the region of the site. So if you're running for US sites, try to use US proxies. If you're running for EU sites, try to use EU proxies, etc. For some sites that could be required as they might lock out any other proxies that are not from that region. So overall, I hope this video helped you out and gave you some clarity on how to generate and test your leaf proxies. And I wish you good luck with using your leaf proxies.